Fanboy69, you've been scrolling on TikTok for hours. Why not give it a rest? Rest your thumbs, rest your eyes. But he doesn't. He continues to scroll for hours and hours and then a whole week goes by. And then there's you. You turn around and you look at Fanboy69 and you are disappointed. Fanboy69, why don't you try reading for once? Or why don't you try going outside to explore? Now, I bought a book called The Way of the Superior Man. I was reading this book, I saw a bunch of other people buy it, and you know, it was like a great book for self-improvement. So I was like, you know what, I'll buy it, I'll try reading it. And it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And there was one particular page that I can remember clear as day, it's my favorite page. And it was talking about enjoy your friends criticisms. And surely not, a few days later after reading this page, one of my very close friends, one of my friends who are literally a part of my brotherhood, he criticizes me about something. It's skating and uh, my kick turns, which is basically when you go up a ramp and then you kind of like do a 180 turn. So you go down facing like downwards. So it's like one of the basics of skating on a skateboard. And uh, he said to me, Sean, your kick turns are shit. <laughs> sort them out right now. And at first I heard that and I was like, dude, I just started, man. That's really hurtful. What the fuck? I listened to that and I was like, damn, that was aggressive. And then I remembered this page and I thought, you know what? Actually, no. For masculine friends, most of the friendship is just bullying each other anyway. The reason he's telling you that right now in that aggressive tone is because that means he really, really cares about you, man. Take his advice. Listen to him. He genuinely is looking out for you. And surely enough, I got a lot better. I started focusing on the basics and my skateboarding skills and my board feel improved massively. And I actually started learning more tricks all because I listened to this one criticism. Why did I improve? Was it because of my friend? Was it because I listened to him? No, it was because I read. I read a page out of that book. That's the reason I listened to my friend's heartfelt advice. And that's the reason why I improved. Not just in skateboarding, but our friendship, our brotherhood, our bond also deepened because I knew that he was saying that out of, out of love, out of care, and he was appreciative that I listened to him because he was right. He had way more experience when it came to skateboarding. I haven't been skateboarding at all recently because I've been focused on this, but you know, it's a nice little analogy, a nice little story. There is this quote that I absolutely adore, that I absolutely love. If you want to change your life, then change the way you think. And the way to change how you think is to change what you read. A quote by Hamza Ahmed. You probably may have seen his YouTube channel. It's like one of the big self-improvement YouTubers. And I read this quote that he, he talked about and I was like, you know what? That's a really good quote because he's right. He's 100% right. Reading is probably one of the best things I have ever indulged in on my journey on self-improvement. One of the best things ever. I used to read like as a kid, like fanatically, not out of choice because like I had an Asian mom and you know, she was like, oh, you should read. You should get into piano. And uh, I did. But I didn't enjoy it. So I used to do it all the time when I was younger. You know, you guys probably binge eat as you watch Netflix, right? When you find this good series or anime and you'll sit and you'll have like some crisps or some snacks, Pringles. I used to always have Thai chili sensations. Amazing brand of crisps. I love them. As a kid, did I sit down and watch movies? No. I would buy a packet of crisps. I would sit down. I'd eat the crisps as I read a book. <laughs> you probably think I'm genuinely, no, he's not being serious, but no, I wasn't allowed a phone. Kids nowadays would be like, what? No, why? Uh, I wasn't allowed a phone. So I would eat snacks and read a book. That was my source of entertainment. I, I regret to tell you that I stopped reading because genuinely reading is one of the cheat codes to life. If you view life as a video game, you know, you probably had the same addictions as I did as a young kid. Video Video games was a huge part of my life, huge addiction to it. If video game was a life right now, then reading books would be a cheat code, literally to getting to level 100 in half the time it would usually take. It would be like the potion to increase your experience. Books is literally a cheat code to life. When you read books, when you are reading books and you are learning, you are literally learning from the experiences, from the mistakes, from somebody else's life, from the hard work that they did, and they're giving it to you for free. Well, not for free, you have to pay for the book, but basically a bunch of knowledge for like seven pounds, all of that at the edge of your fingertips, all of their knowledge from their whole life they wrote into a book so they could teach you. 
cost seven pounds. I'd say that's worth it. I want to ask you a question, right? How did you start on self-improvement? You know, maybe you've been watching these videos for a bit now. You've been watching me for a while. You've been watching other self-improvement YouTubers. You've actually started on the good habits and tried to start quitting the bad habits. You started going to the gym consistently, meditating consistently, improving your mental health, your physical health. Started to wonder what your purpose in life is. How did you start on all of this? From watching videos like this, from learning from other guys' experiences on self-improvement. That's how you started. I guarantee you, if you started reading books, more books about business, that in a year's time, you would be able to make more money. That if you started to read books about diet and fitness and the gym, then you would be able to make more progress and you would make more progress at the gym. Your physical looks would become 100 times better. If you started to read books on how to actually take care of your face, skincare, improve your looks, clothes, a sense of style. If you read books about that, your attractiveness would go through the roof. If you read books about how to improve relationships, how to improve and make an actual genuine loving family in the future, that your next relationship with that girl of your dreams would be 100 times better than what it is right now. I guarantee you by reading all of these books, you will get results. And you can search online, they're everywhere. You can search on YouTube, literally right after this, top 10 books for business. And it will probably come up with like nuclear effects or the four hour work week, or there's loads of books out there that are really, really good. Or like how to improve your mental health, books on for mental health, Where the Superior Man, which I've read, Atomic Habits, which I've also read, Wabi Sabi, which is a Japanese book, which I've also read. I've actually got links in those in my bio, not my bio, in the description of this video. You are learning the experiences and the mistakes from others, and you can take what you can from them. You can learn from them. You're like, okay, you know what? This is actually quite good from this book. But you know what? The book talks about this, but I don't actually agree with that. It hasn't really worked for me. This is the one thing that will literally change your life, and that is reading. I am so annoyed that I stopped doing this years ago, but I've gotten back into it recently and I'm really grateful that I have. I'm gonna write that down tomorrow morning in my gratitude journaling. I'm grateful for books. And as always, you know the important thing like to read and learn, but also to implement the things you're learning. You know, it's there's no point if you're learning, 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 but then you never implement the things you're learning. So the next time you read a book, implement it into your life. So I ask you a question. Do you read? Don't lie to yourself, man. Be honest. I'll be honest. I stopped reading for years. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I did get back into reading. Go pick up a book. Put down the phone, turn off this video. I'm probably one of the very few YouTubers that would tell you that. I don't care. No, I don't care about the video retention. No, no, no. Turn off the phone, go out, go grab that book, go read it. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you see results too. As always, I hope this video has helped you out. And if you are genuinely trying to make a start, a change to your life and improve, but you have no idea where to begin, I will give you all the resources so that you can. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Hey anyway, guys, what do you rate the, the new recording setup? This is in my garden and you know, I've moved back home with my dad and he he made all of this, like he, he tidied up the garden, he cleaned up everything, he put out these chairs, this desk, so we could sit out in the morning at like 6am and we both have our coffees and have our morning chats. Man, I, I love my dad, man. But, oh shit. And so they just stepped on the mic. All right, you know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.